Our mission is to create a partnership with parents and with staff and students to create the best learning opportunities available. The traditional public school tries to fit everybody and make everybody the same. Here at Chatfield we respect the individuality and we provide the individualization that they need to be successful, to go out and, and meet the students' needs in a much greater capacity than you'll see anywhere in traditional public school. A key piece of our model is individualized instruction. So we have open classrooms, so the students feel like they can move uh, throughout their space comfortably. Um, they can work with different teachers, they can work in small groups, they can work in larger groups. With the open classroom, um, I, you know, I can't just stand in the front of the room and deliver a lecture. Instead of saying, oh, I have to, I have to make sure that I'm quiet, 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 which is you know, a consideration in the open classroom, it more causes me to go, okay, who else is going to be involved in this learning process? We have open classrooms. Parents are welcome to drop in whenever they feel like they want to. We uh, encourage that actually. With the open classroom, I'm able to uh, have different centers going on at once. Uh, I'm able to uh, work right along with my teaching partner. I think that when you come through here, I'm hoping it's just, you know, you're going to be uh, very surprised at the style, the setup of the open classrooms. It's just, a, it's just a concept that's not like a lot of middle schools. Um, we're self-contained, so we have that opportunity to work with the number of students that we have for longer periods of time than traditional middle schools where they switch every hour or so. And we hear from high school teachers, I hear from other superintendents who receive our kids, and they always tell me, we know who's a Chatfield kid. I recently had a conversation with a young lady in my office, and she was like, oh, Mr. Young, ninth grade's so easy because we learned this stuff in seventh grade. All the middle school classes do a canoe trip or a river study. Uh, seventh grade does a canoe trip where we do a cleanup for the Flint River and Lapeer, and then we take what we've gathered there um, in terms of like gather a lot of tires. We take that down to Detroit so the kids get to go and see uh, coasters being made, mud mats from the tires that are cut up, sandals that they're doing down there in Detroit, and then we get to make a bike trip out of it by going to Belle Isle. Um, we're offering unique and fun experiences for kids that allow them to really internalize and, and learn and grow and become strong leaders. Having all of these different opportunities for our um, elementary and our middle school students is meant to provide them with the opportunity to become strong leaders. Um, they begin to focus on an area of interest in art, music, um, ecology, robotics, um, and they take that into high school. The robotics during school is learning kind of the basics of not only building and engineering a robot, but also programming and coding it to do what you want it to do. And then after school we have a competition team which does the same thing. They design their own robot, build it, engineer it, problem solve. Uh, but then they compete in tournaments with other school districts. We start in fifth grade with these Lego robots. The competition team has metal robots that has different wheels and different motors. And no directions at all. all yeah, no ideas. directions. And then we can stack as many and of them on as possible. Then we have to put this in a certain zone. And then the team who gets the most points wins. Do you think you guys want to be engineers? Yes. yes. That's, I've always wanted to be an engineer, to follow my dad, because my dad's an engineer. Our students also speak very highly of their teachers and how much they um, love and appreciate the relationships they had with their teachers here at Chatfield. And that's really important to us, that they, they feel like this is, this is home. <laughs>